A 0.3 kilogram, one meter long uniform rod is free to rotate in the vertical plane about a frictionless axis that goes through the center of the rod. The rod has a rotational inertia of 0.025 kilograms meter squared. A small 0.2 kilogram mass is attached to one end of the rod, and then the assembly is released from rest at a 30 degree angle above the horizontal. Find the angular acceleration of the assembly and the acceleration of the 0.2 kilogram immediately after the release from rest. To find the angular acceleration and acceleration for this rotating assembly, we can use the rotational counterpart of Newton's second law of motion, net torque equals to I alpha. To find the torque acting on the assembly, we have to draw the forces acting on it. In order for us to see torque, we have to draw forces from their points of application. We have gravitational force mg. For mg, we draw them at the center of mass. For the 0.3 kilogram rod, it is uniform, so the center of mass is at the center of the rod. So the weight mg3 newtons would act from the center of mass. So this mg is 3 newtons. For the point mass attached at the end, it's 0.2 kilograms, so its mg acts right there. mg equals to 2 newtons. The assembly is touching the axle right here. The axle exerts a force on the assembly, but the whatever force this axle exerts on the system, it provides zero torque because the line of force is going to go through the axis. Therefore, the lever arm is zero. So we do not have to worry about the force from the axle. Now let's look at the net torque. There are two forces over here other than the force from the axle, which doesn't give us any torque. This force also goes through the axle. Therefore, the lever arm for this 3 newtons is also zero. This force does not give us any torque. The only force that provides the torque is the 2 newtons. So the net torque is the force 2 newtons times its uh, lever arm. The lever arm for this force is the distance between this line of force and the axis. So it is this perpendicular distance. This distance is adjacent to the 30 degree angle. And the, for this right triangle, the 0.5 meters is the hypotenuse. So if we want the lever arm, which is adjacent to the angle, we would multiply the hypotenuse 0.5 by cosine 30 degrees. So this will be 0.5 times cosine 30 degrees. That's the force times the lever arm and this should equal to the I alpha. There are two parts in this assembly. There's the rod and the point mass right there. So the I of the system includes the I of the rod and the I of the 0.2 kilograms. The rotational inertia of the rod is given as 0.025. The 0.2 kilogram attached at the end of the rod can be treated as a point mass, which means for this, we can use the equation mr squared. So the rotational inertia of this point mass is 0.2, the mass, times what is the r? The r is the distance between the point mass and the axis, which is 0.5. So this is the mr squared. For this, we get 0.866. And then over there, if we add these two together, we get 0.075 times alpha. So we'll find the alpha to be 11.5 radians per second squared. We put in everything in standard unit. So when we find alpha, it should also be in the standard unit. With alpha, we can find the tangential acceleration because this assembly is rotating about a fixed axis. So the tangential acceleration is r times alpha. We want the 
acceleration of the 0.2 kilogram mass. So the R for the 0.2 kilogram mass is 0.5 meters times the 11.5 for alpha. We should get 5.77 meters per second squared. And that's the tangential acceleration. What about the centripetal acceleration? It is b squared over r or r omega squared. Now, the system is released from rest, and we want the acceleration immediately after the release. So immediately after the release, the moment of the release, the angular speed is zero. The speed is zero because it's released from rest. So the centripetal acceleration is zero. That means the acceleration is just the tangential acceleration, 5.77 meters per second squared.